Well, if they say it rained cats and dogs, sure today it was raining, hey guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, a long time ago I made a video, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys about what God has been showing me in the past few weeks. So uh, I want to start off by saying that I saw a vision of a big throne, but it was made out of stones and it was very dark. It was like you saw this dark throne. There's nothing on the throne and I really hope it was evil. And I was praying about South Africa at that point of time. And then the Lord said to me, prophesy to it. And I started prophesying. And I started speaking to that situation. And I declared, as the Lord was giving me unction, and the Holy Spirit was putting words in my mouth. And I was just declaring, this thing will fall. And I knew it was the corruption, on, or, or what corruption is sitting on, you know. And so as I was decreeing it, this whole thing started falling apart, except for this one little sort of the side piece in the front, it was still standing there. And then I declared, I said, not one stone shall be left upon another. And then boom, it all fell. And then I saw like a lightning uh, bolt just coming down, boom, and it hit it. Okay, it just wah, hit it. And um, yeah, this whole thing fell flat and I, I just really felt like this presence, like God's glory being poured out and, and a sense of revival, like just revival. And so guys, I just want to encourage you in this time to just stay strong, stay strong in the faith. You know, another picture that comes to my mind is the disciples on the boat. And the boat is starting to get water in and they're starting to panic because Jesus is sleeping. And they wake him up and say, don't you care, Lord? But the truth is, is that Jesus is wanting us at this point of time to stand up. And to declare that this boat is not sinking. Everybody is saying, oh, South Africa is going bloop, 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 down. But what's the truth? Okay. The truth is, as Jesus says, he will work all things for the good of those who love him. I call the word his purpose. So yes, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand are right. It's not going to come near you or your family. You must declare that God is for you. He is blessing you and keeping you. You must stand on these promises that God is your God. And like I said, guys, what we do is we believe that Jesus, you first become still, know that he's God, that he's with you. Is he or is he not God? Is he real or is he not? If you believe he's real, okay, become still. If you believe he's real, then start just asking, is his word true? If you can say yes, when you meditate and you think, how big is God? Has God got all authority or some authority? The word says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus. All authority. Okay. So there's nothing left for the devil. He's got it all. Now, if God is sovereign, if he's all powerful, and he did not spare his son, will he not give us also everything else? And so in this point of time, we need to have faith that God will work it for the good. And we've got to declare that this boat is going to, it's going to, it's going to somehow, it's going to come up. Revival is going to hit our country and we are going to survive. Miraculously. This is the God we serve. So guys, we're in a battle scene and the battle is against lies. The lies is, is this, you're all sinking, you're all dying. This is the oldest trick of the devil, telling people they're going to die. They came out of Egypt, we're going to die. The disciples on the boat, we're going to die. God doesn't care. He does care. And we're not going to die. We're going to proclaim the works of the Lord. All right, We're going to live and not die. And so guys, stand on it, stand on it. We've gone down to level two right now, all right? But the battle is the Lord's. We've got to decree and speak to the storm. God said to me, speak to that chair. Speak, prophesy, speak to the situation in your life. Say no to the storm, no to the winds, and declare that God is for you. So guys, I bless you. And I, I thank you, God, that you're for us and that you're with us. So yeah. This rain is falling. You know, when God said to me, he says, revivals will come to this country and the sign will be that it will pour out rain. And here it is, guys. The rain is falling. I've got such an unction in my spirit that things are changing. It is it's here. It's just, I just can feel it. It is revival is here. It, 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 we've got to be on our guard. We've got to be ready for it. All right. God bless you guys. I'm praying for all of you. And stick case strong in the Lord. Okay. Keep the narrow path. Don't go on the broad path. Keep on the narrow path. We are in, in exciting times. All right. God bless you. Bye.